more lunch break. But we need to say congratulations to Ted and Katie. Yay! Yay! They got married like two months ago, and we never talked about it here. Yeah. <laughs> Our bad. Um, Everyone looked great. It was it was a beautiful wedding, Katie. Ted oh, was gorgeous. You were. <laughs> that magnificent. Oh my gosh. Hair. <laughs> I'm just really, really happy for my friend. But it looked like a very nice wedding, Ted's. It was like one of the nicest weddings I've been to. <sighs> and you've yeah. seen a lot of weddings. How many weddings do you think you've worked on? About a hundred or so. A hundred weddings? Yeah. Shut up. But then, Shut up. But Shut up. You need, you need to do the reaction of the thousands of dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many weddings do you think you've done? I'd say about a hundred. <gasps> what? Are you guys gonna have that reaction every single time I say 100? <laughs> Katie or Ted brought up like, everyone involved with the wedding, like all the people that they hired, they could tell that they were really chill. They're not as like bright silly, because they're just more like, yeah, it doesn't matter what we do, as long as we just do it and, you know, love each other. Mm -hmm. But then there's the people that are like, no, it has to be this way, it has to be in July, on this mountaintop. Oh. There's always there's bright every, every There's <laughs> actually quite a few broomzillas too. Really? Ooh, yeah. I never even heard that term. I feel like you would be a broomzilla. Phil would still be a broomzilla. Be more like cutie music, cutie music. Like, <laughs> Mr. Q. Yeah, it'd be something about music or or the, or the scene oh, yeah. arrangements. Like, oh, like they're not supposed, to, they're supposed to sit over. Because I'm worried about, I'm worried about my friends being comfortable with. How each am I other? supposed to go around to these tables if there's not enough space between the tables? <laughs> no, I, my bride is, or my, my wife is supposed to sit next to me. Why is she sitting <laughs> with Taylor? Oh, <laughs> have you guys ever been in the wedding party? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> For Ted's was my first time. Mm, okay. What? Really? And you were the best man? No, he was one of the best men. Oh, right, sorry. Best <laughs> men. Okay. Co best men. Co. Co. Best men. Yeah. How was that different from being like a guest mm -hmm. versus like actually being in the wedding? Well, Ted made it very easy for right. us. He, he specifically said, you know, don't do all the bells and whistles that best men are usually responsible for. Yeah, we didn't have a bachelor party. Yeah. We didn't have to like take care of the rings. Basically, just walk and stand over there. <laughs> yeah. And, and take photos. And say something nice about me at this time. What were you? I was always bridesmaid twice because I only have a few close girlfriends. I was always that token friend from elementary school, oh, or like growing oh. up, childhood friend. Oh, so you have no idea what their life is like now? No, no, no. I mean, we, we were like really close and they were still really close, but all the other bridesmaids are were either their sisters or their college friends. But it, I think that's an interesting experience in itself. You've been- I've been part of other right? groomsmen's, yeah. And then you've known all the groomsmen, like you guys yeah. are all really close. Right. Like having that experience right. is a lot more fun because you're celebrating right, with right. your friend. Everyone's like, you know, party. Bringing a bridesmaid is also very expensive too. Yeah. Cause you guys have to do like three different parties. It's crazy. <sighs> What? There's like the wedding shower, and then there's like the bridal shower, and then there's yeah. the bachelorette party. Yes, yes. Wait, are wedding shower and bridal shower the same thing? They, they don't, don't actually shower. Yeah. No. They should know. They shower you How with gifts and compliments. Oh, okay. They don't. It's not all the all the women showering together. <laughs> That's the bachelorette party. Don't you get party. pruny from all those showers? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I have enjoyed like you know the bachelor party or. The yeah. Do you have any like crazy stories, huh? Share, share. Is it like the typical Vegas? <laughs> have you been part of the one where it's like they rented a boat somewhere? Yeah. And then, like, yeah, right. That's Tree Hall's bachelor party. Mm. We went what, fishing. Is that like one one of the archetypes, like standard? Like let's. Get a boat. Guys that don't want to do like the, the typical like hangover bachelor party, they want to do. They'll either do like paintballing, mm. ATVing, fishing, some kind of trip or Bro outdoor stuff. activity. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I was still stuck on this point that you made earlier about how I would be freaking out about the seating arrangements. Apparently, if I was a groomzilla. I thought I was kidding. No, no, okay. Just his demeanor right now. That's so groomzilla. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we just backtrack and talk? Did you about say that about me? Yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm. Just I'm saying yourself. that particular point. I, I do think that seating arrangements are so important at weddings. Have you been at a wedding like table and it's just been like super uncomfortable? Like you're like with all the randos. Randos. Yeah. Everyone's name is Rando. Yeah. <laughs> you're wondering why you weren't grouped with that other group, which you felt like you were, you a know, part a part of. You know, maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. Weddings are like uh, reunions. Yeah, yeah. Right? I think that's the best part of weddings. It brings, it brings everyone back. I think the best weddings I've been to are high school or like childhood friends. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, then you see people that you haven't seen in a really long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get to see your own parents go a little wild sometimes? My parents don't do anything at weddings. Really? Except for stake out the centerpiece. 
<laughs> it was so embarrassing this one time where my cousin was getting married and my dad was just like just stationing himself at each table trying to like get the centerpieces. At the end of the night, he's like, Chrissy, Chrissy, we can go now. And he has a whole box full of centerpieces. Your dad likes flowers? flowers? Your dad likes flowers that much? I don't know, there's like a whole, like they, they like to collect them, yeah, you know? It's not a I'm just, just like, like thing. Do your parents let loose at weddings? I haven't been to a wedding with them. What? I mean, like, um, I haven't been. Have I? Maybe I've been. I'm in one. I'm in one wedding with weddings. With what? My cousin, but like right, they, right. Didn't, they didn't let loose. Oh. Did but they that. dance? No, they didn't dance. Oh. No dance. Mm. But people were dancing. There was like just the kids. It was a very so small just, wedding. Just you. Very small. Just wedding. you. <laughs> dance it wasn't like a chicken dance. Everyone, everyone up. Let's do the chicken dance. You know. Do you guys do the chicken dance at weddings? I've been to a wedding with the chicken dance. Oh my gosh. I've never been to. And the Congo line. I've been. Oh my gosh. I think that's common. Did they do the Macarena also? <laughs> well, there's a lot of different parts of a wedding, right? But uh, what's your favorite moment of a wedding? Two things. It is that moment when the bride is walking down the aisle and you look back and the groom <sighs> is crying, oh. you know, getting teary eyed. And two, the father daughter dance. Those are, those are mine. Dude, the okay. father daughter dance. Parent anything is yeah. always always just like because I I pr I start thinking about like if when I'm in that position like if I have to like I've raised my my child this whole time and not to like give her away oh it comes really? up as a parent yeah wow really that's why the father the father the daughter dance I think actually oh. is, is more powerful than because she's the literally giving mother yeah. there I like hearing the vows I feel like that's really when you get to know these people's story and whatever they choose to say kind of embodies their relationship the vows both weddings I've been to like. I, they didn't have mics for the vows. It was just for each other. Oh. Um, and I'm like, oh man, I want to, I want to hear that. Should I cry <laughs> now? Is, is, was that something sweet? Did, they, did, he, did he say something sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I probably do like when, when they're walking, the entrance of them walking in, mm -hmm. more than like the exit. It's just so, it just feels so heavy, but in a good way. There's so much weight behind that moment of them walking down that aisle. I think my favorite moment of weddings is uh, when they bring out the second meal. They bring out like a buff like a like a second buffet with like burgers and fries. Oh yeah, I've been to that. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like if you're still hungry. If, yeah, if you're yeah. still hungry, they have like snack. If the bride and groom spent a lot, this is sometimes a, a nice perk. What's the best perk or like special thing that you've seen at a wedding? Open bar. Well, no, that's that should be like standard. always standard. <laughs> oh, one of the nicest weddings that I've been to, which I say this a lot, is Kina Granis and Jesse's <gasps> wedding. And they had unlimited oysters. Unlimited what? oysters. Yes. Wow. Unlimited. Unlimited. unlimited oysters. That for me <laughs> was unforgettable. You would yeah. be very hungry still. I would still be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, wow. Because <laughs> they don't eat oysters. Yeah. Have you guys been to a lot of destination weddings? Been to a few, yeah. I was gonna say you and you. I've yeah. only been to one part of Vallarta, Mexico. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. I went to one in uh, Hawaii. Right, right. Two. Wait, three. You went to a lot. Of I Hawaii. went to three Hawaiian weddings. That's crazy. I just realized that now. The groom actually worked at a resort, so we got the whole resort to ourselves. Wow. What? For like the four whole days. Resort? This is it was power. open bar. It was open bar for four days. That sounds like the best perk ever. That's... Yeah. It was, the it wedding was... doesn't end. I hope he gets married again. <laughs> <laughs> That's me next time. <laughs> How horrible is that? To, like have the same wedding twice. The same place. <laughs> oh, I, my friend just had. It. He's having a Bay Area wedding in San Francisco, uh -huh. and then one in China. Well, some yeah. people have to do that if they have like family yeah. on both sides. So she's she's from China. He's from. Um, California. Wes, what is your ideal wedding? Well, we all have to answer that though, right? Okay. Taylor, <laughs> I, I don't have an ideal wedding to be honest. I because I think it will be defined by my particular relationship and love for my fiance. I like the backyard idea. It's really nice. I can see that happening. As long as there's a nice backyard. Your parents' backyard is really nice. Come on, it's too much brick. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot well, of birds that, back there. That sounds like a bridezilla. Um, too much brick here. <laughs> No. Can't have it. And there's no. birds. The only birds I want are the ones that I release. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would like to see it like somewhere like fantasy what, you know? Like, yeah. like oh so you want set design. Look, I've seen a lot of science fiction movies and a lot of landscapes and a lot of like Lord of the Rings fields and, and forests and stuff. Then you should actually have a destination wedding like in New, New Zealand. Zealand or something. I could also see it being like <laughs> like on you know very, very quaint and very meaningful, like small too. Like. You're open-minded. Wes should just have his wedding on a green screen studio. So it can be any oh, that's one. <laughs> that's fake and imaginary. Videographers are gonna have a lot of fun with that one. <laughs>
I, I prefer more intimate. I think the way that Ted and Katie did it was like pretty much to the T. That would be ideal for yeah. me, you know? Where it's only close, really close friends, and then, <laughs> and then, but I would want it on the beach, which is oh, very, very okay. like mm. cliche think, in a way too. No, 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 yeah. no, that totally makes sense. I agree. You want the wedding to be somewhere that's meaningful to you. Like you want to share that relationship in that world with the people that are closest to you. Right. It's all the people that have supported them along the way yep. to get them to like the person that they've become in order to be ready to marry yep. this person into the next chapter of their life. Let us know if there's anything that we left out that you want in your wedding. Mm. Fantastical or not. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you? Guys, how many of you guys out there are already planning your dream wedding? Ooh, can we can we see your wedding videos? I love watching wedding <laughs> wedding videos. Or let us know what you think each of our weddings will be like. Lunch breaks come out every Thursday, so see you guys next week, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Bye.